An update on the Halo Infinite graphics card support, rank settings, and Joseph Staten's office. A huge week for Halo MCC, but looks like things might be winding down for that game. How I broke Halo Twitter, and an absolute fail for a Halo Infinite calendar, and much more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. everyone, welcome to the channel, the channel that keeps you updated with everything going on with Halo. Today is Monday morning, meaning another Last Week in Halo video. I know not everyone can keep up with the news as soon as it happens, so the idea of this series is to have it be a one-stop shop for you to keep up to date with everything that happened in the previous week of Halo. If you guys like this series, make sure to tap that like button, let me know you want to see some more content like this, you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, as soon as it happens, we'll make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So the first bit of news guys, we're gonna be talking about these various Halo stories that kind of came out throughout the last week. Though this first story might be a little bit more just Xbox related, but something so cool that I need to share with you guys, the Xbox mini fridge is now officially available for pre-order. I'm sure you guys will remember the viral meme of the Xbox fridge that first came around for us. Being able to store such delicious drinks, food, as well as your Xbox on top of that. But this mini fridge is a one-to-one -one scale replica of the console. So it's like the exact same size it looks like. But now the mini fridge will finally be available for pre-order coming this October guys. And you'll be able to finally purchase it it looks like or get your hands on it when it rolls around in december so it actually does look like it holds quite a good amount of goodness right inside of it or says the first wave of production for the mini fridge will be available at target on target.com for a hundred dollars and this isn't just a us only thing you'll be able to also purchase this at the uk for 89.99 pounds as well for france germany italy spain Netherlands and Poland can grab it at a GameStop EU for 99 euros. They do stay here that they're looking to continue broadening the regions that it's available throughout 2022. So if you can't get the initial launch guys, don't worry, you'll still have a chance. So at the top of the video, I mentioned how I said I broke Halo Twitter. Well, I did because this tweet right here got 200,000 impressions guys. Now, why did I post this video? It's in response to Frosty where he talks about he wanted to see the lower strafe speed as well as a fire shot precision weapon kind of more in line with Halo 5 which I do agree that I feel that we need to have a slower strafe speed because if you look at this clip right here, yeah, this is me playing on PC and the strafe speed of the Spartan seems to be a bit uh, intense to say the least. Now this is also a Spartan that's playing on Spartan difficulty and play fighting mode that I was doing during the flight. You can see right here how this bot is just strafing left, right? Like I'm just missing every shot with the lack of aim assist on mouse and keyboard and me not being the best at mouse and keyboard and just being kind of insane that I feel like obviously that I think that the strafe speed might be needed to be toned down a little bit. Uh, but this kind of just sparked the whole thing on Twitter because when Frosty retweeted it saying, laugh my ass off, please watch uh yeah a lot of people did and basically it just sparked a whole conversation about straight speed within halo infinite and like that's definitely some things i think that might need to be tweaked halo pro flame sword even retweeted kind of like you know doing a little bit of a roast mock of what i said right here but really did spark a bit of a conversation about like mouse and keyboard aim assist and a bunch of other things when it comes to this but yeah guys like this clip right here again is an extreme example of what i was talking about with the strafe speed in this game but I mean, it's kind of absurd how fast you can strafe left and right in Halo Infinite. Joseph Stein recently tweeted his experience while being part of the development team for Halo Infinite and saying here, saying, I just cleared off five cups of coffee, three plates, and oddly, six forks off my desk. It's been one of those weeks and it's only Tuesday. Which, how do you have six forks, but only three plates? I'm curious about that. But I think this kind of gives you a little bit of insight of what development is like right now on Halo Infinite, that they're kind of like heads down, like they said, kind of going to shutdown mode to try to get as much done as possible and this is kind of like life at the office kind of thing when you're super busy some fun information here guys king ice recently came out with a line of jewelry that's halo focused and he's actually like reasonably priced for like jewelry right so you have like a master chief looking kind of necklace right here you got the helmet right here as well if you scroll down we have the needler we have the sword as well which i think if there's gonna be anyone i'd do the sword that actually kind of looks kind of sweet we also have the xbox sphere as well which looks super cool we even have it in a ring form as well which is definitely pretty much uh 
good flex right there. You have a controller, you have the Xbox logo right there, but don't worry guys, it gets way more expensive as we scroll down here to the very bottom. It's a $10,000 diamond sphere logo necklace right here for this bit of jewelry. So if you're like the 1% and you're a huge Xbox fan, well, there you go. Next in the news stories here is guys, we have some HCS news. We have the settings revealed for competitive and ranked way as well as some other teams that have announced their rosters to jump in for the next Halo Infinite event coming in December. 343 recently posted a blog as well as some gameplay along with this as well, which ended up looking really great. And uh, for the TLDR of everything, guys, basically we have BR only stars at motion tracker is disabled. Grenade hit markers will be disabled, which is absolutely huge. Friendly Fire is turned on. The modes that we'll be playing are Slayer, Capture the Flag, Strongholds, and the return of Oddball and Competitive, which is awesome. And also a very important thing to know that all weapon racks and equipment location spawns will be static. They won't be moving around like we experienced with the flight. They actually changed the repulsor specifically in ranked modes in here as well. So you know, the repulsor kind of caused a little bit too much damage and didn't really lend us up to proper gameplay. So they actually like nerfed the damage a little bit, but still has the same effect. Though throughout this entire blog, they didn't say anything about player collision. I even went on Twitter and asked Tashi and Unishank. They didn't reply probably because they were super busy with everyone else talking about competitive settings in Halo. Uh, so we need to find out more information about that. I would like to see player collision come back, but if that's not going to be in part of the rank system or rank mode experience, I'm totally fine with it, to be honest. Like, it's just like another thing I would prefer, but it's not a game breaking thing. Like I mentioned, they did post a YouTube video going over some of the quick TLDR section of this video. So if you guys want to watch that, definitely do it. It's definitely a great insight when it comes to the thought process behind their choosing of what is and isn't going to be in ranked as well as the gameplay well the gameplay actually was really awesome well done by l town here was a former halo pro i think i went into a little bit of their discussion about how it was to come up with these settings how it will be part of the game and it seems like what i really like about this hs settings is that it's not going to be such a drastic change from what we know of when it comes to the social settings which traditionally in halo that like ranked is played a lot different than say like your social settings and i think what halo 5 tried to do at launch was try to mimic the social settings and bring that over to rank so it's you don't really have that division so much but i think there kind of needs to be that division because in social it's kind of more about the fun aspect of the game where in ranked it's much more about the balanced fairness and kind of experience but it seems like a lot of the sandbox that's going to be part of social is going to be available within halo if it's ranked mode. so i'm very happy to see that as well and again we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out when we finally get a chance to play it in December. And I do have a full video detailing all the specs of the ranking system, my thoughts on it as well on this channel. Guys, so go check out that video if you would like. We also had the reveal of a brand new team being announced, going to be taking on the other teams of the HCS Raleigh event coming in December here, guys. XO Esports with Dog the Legend, Han Never Solo, Obnoxious, as well as Twitch A. Now, me personally, I've never really heard of these players, but popular Twitch streamer J Hunter JJX says that the excellent pickup and can't wait to watch these boys take on the HCS teams. And so this is gonna be, might be a bit of a roster to keep an eye on. You never know. You can see a bit of a surprise, which we have another surprise for HCS rosters. Friend of the show and fellow content creator, Arash is actually gonna be competing in this event as well, which is super exciting. If we get a chance to see him on stream, you know I'll be rooting for him. Next, let's go into the Halo Infinite news guys it's kind of a light week on halo infinite news but we have a bit of information on what the beginning part of the game might look like with a familiar mechanic i think you're all used to when you first boot up halo for the first time as well as 900 series card support getting a little bit more information on what's happening there this image which was taken from the august development update video which was an announcement of the lack of co-op and forge the launch of halo infinite but they showcase this little screenshot here and also get a very interesting thing to take note of since we do know that discover hope is the very beginning part of the game well, was one of the things that you do at the beginning of a Halo game well, you check your up, down, left, and right directions and things like that. So you can see right here in the bottom of the text, it says, let's look down. Coming from the pilot right here. So it looks like we have that classic moment when you first boot up into the game. Okay, let's look up, look down, left, left, and right. Probably checking out some different indicators where you need to look, like we've had in every Halo game. This is just like, I know it's kind of a very small thing, but just kind of a fun little thing to know that, hey, okay, it's kind of like classic Halo kind of experience. Next, we have some information about the support of 900 series cards for Halo Infinite. As we do know that they've been 
having some issues with the 900 series and they were not not supported at all in the last flight. But community manager Unishek went on here saying, I've seen some confusion about this. So I'm jumping in to clarify, yes, GTX 900 series cards that have four gigabytes of VRAM will be supported in Halo Infinite, which is really great to know that this will be a truly supported experience. Like they did say this, yeah, but we didn't know exactly what kind of specs we would need for those 900 series cards, which are a bit on the older side of things. Yes, but the thing is right now that very few people have the 3000 series cards because they are so hard. To find i've been trying to get it since the beginning of this year guys can't find it at all i've been rocking a 1080 ti and just the generation before my card is a 900 series card so i think there's a lot of people out there that have this graphics card that are certainly worried if they're going to get the true support of halo infinite which it looks like they will but we'll see what happens next let's get right into the big week for the mcc guys where we had a brand new drop of season 8 with a bunch of interesting stuff about that but a recent development update talks about how it looks like they're kind of starting to wind down the information and support for MCC. So let's get right into it. So like I said, this week comes with season eight, guys, a long awaited season. This is going to most likely be the very last season of the MCC, guys, as we are less than two months away from the release of Halo Infinite. And this update was absolutely massive, like probably the biggest update that we have had since the release of Crossplay and that update when it came with Halo 4, guys. Like this is an absolutely massive update with brand new content we've never never seen before a new map and a whole bunch of extra goodies guys now 343 did release a blog update going into all the details that's going to be part of this but yeah, basically we saw a brand new season pass we had a new map from halo online new halo 3 in game collectibles as well as an update to odsc firefight the custom game browser got a huge update with combat evolved and halo 3 being added as well as additional filtering options to help you find your games a little bit better though that wasn't it we also had a bunch of fixes especially for halo 2 when it comes to the graphics and the visuals of the game. Basically, it got like the same kind of treatment and update that we had for Combat Evolved for Season 7. The same thing here for Season 8 for Halo 2. And guys, like the lighting and the coloring and the contrast and brightness is just so massively improved with the game that like playing on the classic graphics doesn't look nearly as well bad as it did previously. The mission Reclaimer had its cutscene completely fixed where now it actually has proper lighting now, which is something that's been going on with the MCC, well, since ever when it comes to this cutscene and cool to see it finally get fixed up. It's a totally like immersion breaking kind of situation when it comes to the pre-season eight launch because you can see all the stuff that's happening in the background and it's really visually distracting and kind of ruins the immersion of the cutscene which is kind of the whole point of having cutscenes but little fixes like this throughout the game have been made and as we do every Friday we get an MCC development update but it looks like these updates might be kind of coming around a little bit less than we used to stating here that these are going to be shifting from every week affair to an every other week to eventually a monthly cadence in the new year which yeah sadly makes sense though because obviously we've had a weekly update even when there wasn't really much to talk about so big ups on postums for posting those up every single week uh though obviously with the lack of seasons coming around guys and how these updates are gonna be coming still happening for the mcc but more of a development pace rather than like trying to get something out every two months and also we have the release of halo infinite coming right around the corner guys so it just kind of makes sense that you see the wind down and the support for mcc might wind down a little bit as well in 2022 but just keep in mind that we still have halo infinite to go off and play which is going to be fantastic and for the last section today guys i like to call this the cracked halo stories the stories that fall between the cracks i think it's something you would really like to see when it comes to some cool halo content like we have an absolute fail when it comes to a halo infinite calendar as well as a fan-made zeta halo that looks absolutely incredible and a whole lot more so let's just jump right into it so the internet recently found this calendar for halo infinite which is like yeah cool whatever it's a calendar but this is a very interesting thing here about this calendar guys that it's uh there's a little bit of a fail because if you look at these images one of these things doesn't fit quite possibly this fallout 4 helmet in the halo infinite calendar and also for this halo infinite calendar um it doesn't look like there's only really many images about halo infinite except for the very first one from the announcement trailer i think some of these are actually some fan art as well as i think some pixel flare art and some halo 5 content some mcc content on there so yeah real halo infinite like next is some amazing mod content here guys where some actually imported a CE Master Chief into Halo 3 and well it looks absolutely amazing. 
Mod tools recently just came for Halo 2 and Halo 3 with the release of Season 8, guys. And, uh, well, I'm quite excited about what stuff they can pull off with official mod tools for these games. And if there's any way for me to get a chance to play as CE Master Chief in Halo 3, well, I'm going to try to figure out how to do it. Next is the Zeta Halo Experience brought to you by Infinite Forges. Guys, we've brought him up previously on this channel because he does amazing Forge content. He's been spending some time in Unreal 4, making some really interesting stuff when it comes to Halo Infinite themed material and content. And while well, he posted this up on his channel, guys, and it looks absolutely incredible for fan created. This is absolutely amazing. And the ending is just a total payoff and looks so cool guys definitely go check it out link in the description down below because it does like a developer type walkthrough of this whole thing and it's definitely worth the watch and that's everything that happened in the last week of halo guys if you want to see more content like this make sure you check out this playlist for all my halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next one peace out